So Calvin, tell us, um, being an international racer, right? How does it feel to represent not just Guyanese as well as being Guyanese yourself, but Guyanese racers all, all, all around? Well, obviously I love representing Guyana. It's where I grew up. I actually started racing right here at the South Dakota track. So being able to hold up the Guyana flag when I get to the podium and so, it's kind of unbelievable. But I also like really appreciate all the support from all my fans from Guyana and all. I just can't do it without you guys. Thanks very much. All right, good. So um, tell us, during your um, exhibition um, race today, um, what were some of your expectations? Uh, well, it'll be uh, uh, quite a new experience because I haven't had a lot of time on this track. I've only been, done like 10 laps here since I came. There's quite a little problem with it, the engine of the car, so I'm only allowed to go like 80% with the car. But approaching it, I'll try to attack the corner as hard as I can. But there's a little setup with the springs and so that I have to adjust. And obviously with the, the different level of track here, uh, we had to do quite a lot of changes with the right height of the car. So attacking it, uh, I'll try to get back to power as soon as possible, but the sand might be a little problem, but hopefully I'll be able to keep it on the track. Okay, all right. So tell us, how is the track different here from what you're usually used to? Uh, well, the track here is quite simple compared to abroad, but it's still the same approach as you do to any track you're kind of getting to know. So approaching this track, uh, I'll just drive as hard as I can, but the only difference I would say, uh, the, the tracks abroad are kind of kept cleaner. So there's a lot of sand on this track compared to the other tracks abroad. So that was a problem for you uh, in it, or to the vehicle anyway? Well, it'll be a new challenge. Obviously the, the rear of the car will slide a lot, but I think it should be able to be done. Very good. Currently I'm in Formula 4, uh, racing in the Mexican Championship. So moving up from the Formula 4, I'd probably try to go to Formula 3, Formula 2, Formula 1. But that all has to do with hard work, dedication, because to move up to Formula 3, you're going to kind of want to win the Formula 4 Championship. But as I move up, it obviously, uh, I can lose all your support. But obviously it'll be a lot more to learn and a lot more physical. Um, like you have to be a lot more physical. But when I get to F1, if I ever make it to F1, uh, it will be pretty amazing to represent Guyana. Uh, and hopefully, eventually in a day, I can set a path for the younger generation to somewhat, so we could get like a whole Guyanese field in the F1, so we could represent Guyana and just put our name on the map. Right, good. I don't think um, people even un realize the significance of you making it to Formula 1. If you make it to Formula 1, you will be the first Guyanese, right? Yeah. Am I correct? for more guys after you to make it on the Formula One stage? Uh, well, as I said, uh, a lot of kids have the dream of being in Formula One, just like me when I was growing up. All I could say is uh, never give up. There's going to be times when it's pretty hard. Uh, just keep driving if you can. Uh, Go-karting is a good way to start. Even though there's not much go-karting here in Guyana, I would definitely do it because it has helped me the most in like Formula Car racing. Because when I first got into Formula Car Racing, the cold car is a really good place to start out. So I would definitely say for the younger generation coming up, always keep striving for being educated and um, you should definitely do cold cars.